Greetings and good morning. Or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time zone you're watching this. Uh, this is a horse end, a horse end jetty to be precise, in the Lake District on Derwent Water. I've actually got here slightly late, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, come here for sunrise and the high cloud that whoops the high cloud that's up above me um, has already started to catch um, I really should have been here a little bit earlier um, which is a bit of a shame but hey there we go I couldn't get my my sorry soul out of bed quickly enough I'll just keep checking behind me um, and usually I've got the whole place to myself I'm really quite surprised about that. I'd have thought there'd have been one or two other people here. There's a duck. Um, one of the challenges at Hawes End is the way the light falls, especially at this time of year. So this is September. Um, I have a jetty cutting out into the water. All the light is to the left hand side. There's not a huge amount going on on the right hand side. You have the same problem at sunset. At sunset it's all kicking off on the right hand side but there's not a lot happening on the left hand side. I'm kind of hoping that the high cloud, that the wispy high cloud that I can see on the right hand side does actually catch some colour and then in post, in software, I can try and make it look a little bit more obvious should we say um, but my view my view is so that's approximately my view uh, bear in mind this camera is shooting the scene in 16 by 9 so there'll be a bit more at the top and a little bit more at the bottom um, I've got the uh, jetty uh, very centrally composed straight down the middle of the frame um, and this is what gives me the the issue all the all the interest all the drama it's all here and up in the sky up here but then over there it's just blue now you could say in fact the uh, well, you can see it on this camera but uh, the wispy cloud that's up there look uh, is actually starting to catch some color now so I'm just going to rattle off a frame bear with me a moment let me just move my video camera out of the way Um, and because of the low light, I'm getting um, exposure times of at least a couple of seconds. So that's smoothing out the water ever so slightly. And yeah, over there now, I'm actually starting to get a little bit of colour, which is quite cool. See, look, nobody, just me. All on me lonesome, all by myself. Lovely. At least it means I can uh, stand here and do things like this. A bit of vlogging without, um, without somebody else listening to what it is that I'm saying. But that's my dilemma. And that's my hope. It's just to wait now. Wait and see what happens. Might reposition the camera ever so slightly so it is a little bit more central. But apart from that, all good to go. Right. Onwards, take some pictures. So I got lucky. I got lucky in that the sky over there um, did actually pick up some colour. Uh, there's actually, um, I'm not sure the video camera will pick it up, but there's a huge swathe of high cloud over here. I think it's probably a dissipated aeroplane contrail or something um, that lit up and 
caught the light um, and there's all sorts of wispy bits that are, are picking it up now um, so yeah it all came together uh, what was quite cool as well was that um, so the, the way the land is shaped it's quite thin over here um, on the left and then quite sort of large and dominant on the right but there is some low cloud um, that's uh, because it's so low it's not really catching the colour at all so it's grey um, but I deliberately waited for a clump of um, low grey cloud to be situated over in that direction just to help to balance the land mass that's over here um, so it doesn't look quite so dominant and again in post um, I might actually uh, deepen that down a little bit further just to uh, accentuate that message uh, a little bit more, make it a bit more obvious. But yeah, I could have been doing, you could have done with being here 10 15 minutes earlier. Uh, that's my own silly fault. That's a lesson learned for tomorrow, I guess. Um, just to be in a position to set up before the colour gets to its best. I was kind of rushing a little bit and I was a little bit lucky um, because here at Hawes End, I've been here several times, um, so we already knew uh, the jetty and collection of rocks and so forth that were uh, around here. So it didn't make, didn't take sorry much doing um, to get set up and, and get cracking quite quickly. Um, technically, uh, the camera you probably saw from the footage there it was using a mixture of portrait and uh, landscape orientation. Um, <laughs> I swapped my filter over because I thought, oh, I'll give the reverse grad a go. Um, I already had the reverse grad in there, which was a bit stupid, wasn't it, really? Um, but, um, yeah, I had a, a three-stop reverse grad, uh, 24 millimeters, and then shutter speeds were ranging anywhere from being four seconds to two seconds. I think at the minute it's, oh, it's under a second uh, now, and I'm having to underexposed by a third of a stop because the sky is getting uh, that much brighter uh, and the colour also now has really started to go it's now a very very pale yellow uh, as opposed to a bright vibrant orange or red or in fact there I've got colour over here um, uh, now as opposed to uh, over there but I think I might have uh, a quick wander of the shoreline um, it's been a little while since I've wandered the shoreline here. The time is 20 to 7, so I've got plenty of time to have a bit of a mooch. So I shall go and do that and see what I can see. But, or's end. Good location, maybe generally only one view, but it's a good view. So, time to wander. So I've had a bit of a wander, I'm literally a uh, stone's throw away from Otterfield Bay which is over there. Um, there was a little bit of light kicking off in the clouds up above. Um, yeah, I think it was um, trying to make the best of a bad job. But moving around um, the shoreline now means that the sun is rising over here. Um, and I've got, uh, I don't know which one it is, I think it might be Blencathra in front of me, um, but I've now got a mountain range in front of me with quite a, a distinct and definite shape. There's little wispy clouds moving across the top of it um, and I'm stood here and I'm going to wait and see whether the as the sun comes up in that direction whether the tops of the uh, hills actually then start to catch the early morning colour. Um, if I'm honest, uh, I'm not sure necessarily it's going to work particularly well. Um, but do, but you know, it's one of those things, right? I'm here. I've dragged myself out of bed and I'm here. And it would be really, really easy right now to say, oh, do you know what, stuff it, I'm going to go back. Uh, and you know, get back into bed or go and have a shower or go and watch TV or whatever but I mean just just look at this place I'm here all on my own complete solitude 
completely at peace, completely calm, completely relaxed. You know, even if I just went and sat on that tree stump over there and just took it all in for an hour, that's probably time better spent than going back to my B&B and just watching Good Morning Britain or whatever it is. I don't even know the names of the programmes. That's how much I don't watch TV. But I think what I'm going to do is um, there's a, a wee rock down here and um, a, a shape in the rock that will, uh, in the bedrock that will hopefully act as a leading line. So I'm going to frame up a composition and then I'm going to wait and see whether the hills catch the light. The hills are alive with the sound of water lapping the shore. Does that work? No, I didn't think so either. Right, set up. So from Hawes End, that's a wrap, um, the, um, the hope of some light lighting up the mountains really transpire. I've got a little bit of a glow, um, but it um, didn't really work as I wanted, which was a little bit of a shame. Uh, you can probably see behind me, over there. Um, these mountains here are catching the light quite nicely but out in the distance they, they just weren't. I think I was probably a little bit too far away. Um, also I think the sun is very very strong at the minute. So over there it looks absolutely beautiful but um, in that direction it really doesn't look like much at all. Um, the other challenge I had was um, there was a massive body of water between me <coughs> Uh, between, sorry, uh, the foreground and the mountains in the distance. So you just had this huge expanse of, well, white effectively, um, and even getting nice and low um, just to try and uh, foreshorten the foreground it didn't really work. Uh, it was still very, very dominant in the frame. So um, it wasn't to be. Just have to uh, put that one down to experience. So an important lesson learned today. <laughs> Get your bum out of bed early, or earlier, I should say. <clears throat> um, but what the heck? Uh, at least now I'm really ready for my breakfast, uh, which will be uh, very gratefully received. Um, sorry, this one's a little bit haphazard. Um, I do tend to do these things, or do these videos, really without a plan. Um, which is something I really ought to change. I ought to have a plan. Um, but I don't. Um, I have to admit, I kind of... To me, I think you should see it raw. Um, somebody coming out um, with the act of uh, landscape photography and seeing it warts and all. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, there's always a lesson that's been learned. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've gotten something out of it. Uh, please do uh, consider clicking the subscribe button uh, down below and the bell button alongside it, so at least then you get notified when new content is added. I'm aiming to upload at least once a month. Unfortunately I don't get out often enough <coughs> to do it uh, more regularly than that, so once a month on or around the 22nd. Uh, but if you subscribe and do the bell button, then you'll be notified when something is added. Thank you once again. Uh, please enjoy your photography. And until the next one, take care. Bye for now.